Mount Off products discount is a really nice way to be able to discount specific products or collections of products. So here's how to do that. First, click into discounts on the left hand side. And then in this top right corner, there's this create discount button. Now in this video, I'm just going to focus on this amount off products. There are other discounts that can be created and I'll go over those in different videos. I'm going to click into this amount off products and right off the top, the method, there'll be discount code or automatic discount. So discount code is something that your customers will need to enter in at checkout unless you send them a very specific link that will apply it at checkout. And then automatic discount is one that will just automatically apply at checkout for your customers. And with this type of discount, the amount off products, you will see you can either do a percentage or a fixed amount. So to start off, I'm going to do one where you have to enter in a discount code. And for this, you can apply it to specific products or specific collections. So let's say I'm going to do all apparel would be 25% off. So apparel 25 off. Let's say that's the discount I want it to be. This is the code they would enter in at checkout. You can have Shopify generate a random one for you if you want it to. You'll often want something easy for your customer to type in and something that's easier to remember. Or when they look at the code, they know what the discount should be. So this one, if we're doing percent, I'm gonna do this percentage. So I would put 25 here. You can do fixed amount and I'll go over an example with that one. So we're just gonna stick with the percentage for now. So 25% and we're gonna do specific collections because we're going to do the apparel. You could do specific products where I'll just show this. I could come in and select very specific shirts if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted it just to be the dark gray heather shirts. I could come in and individually select those or if I had a collection of those I could select the collection. I'm going to do all apparel and I have a collection made of apparel. If you don't know how to make a collection I do have videos on that. Okay, so in this case, I have my apparel collection selected. That includes all of my shirts in this collection. I only offer shirts as apparel. When you come down here, minimum purchase requirements. I'm not gonna require them to make any sort of required purchase amount or amount of items. But if you wanted them to, let's say it was get 25% off once you spend 100. I could have, they have to spend 100 in this collection and they would get 25% off of the shirts. There's also minimum quantity of items. I could put, you have to buy two shirts and then you will get 25% off of the shirts. In this case, I don't want any requirement. Customer eligibility, you get all customers. You could have specific customers. You'd have to select a segment. Some of these can be people who have abandoned their checkout, email subscribers from the US, customers who haven't purchased, who have purchased more than once, or have purchased at least once. New segments can be created. For this video, I'm gonna go with all customers. I'm not gonna exclude anyone from being able to get this discount. You can limit this number of times it can be used in total. So you could say only, it can only be used 50 times. So once 50 customers use it, it can no longer be used. I don't wanna limit it in this case, but you can also limit it to one use per customer. So they use it once and it won't work for them ever again. This one I like to use if I sent a coupon with an order to a customer because I often wouldn't like them to continuously use it. Now sometimes I would just add an expiration date to a coupon so they could use it unlimited number of times until it hit that expiration date. But if you only want them to use it once, we could select this. I'll leave both of these deselected because we're just doing a quick example. And then combinations, apparel 25 off can be combined with and then we can select discounts we want it to be able to com be combined with at checkout. If it cannot be combined with anything, no other discounts can be stacked with this coupon at checkout. For this example, I'm not going to select any of these because I'm going to have a video going over all the different combinations you can have of combined discounts. And then down here, active dates. So there's already a start date. It would start immediately in this case. It usually picks the date and time when you first started to create it. You could change it where maybe it would start, you know, the next day or or the next month or something. And then if you wanted to expire, you would set an end date. Let's say you want a coupon that is only good for a specific day. You would pick your specific day. You'd probably have it start at midnight, you know, that morning. And then you'd have it go all the way until the end of the day at midnight. A lot of times I would start it maybe a couple minutes earlier and end a couple minutes later because I wasn't super strict that people needed to get it at the exact minute. And I feel like if you give people a couple extra minutes, you minimize people being frustrated and emailing you saying, I only missed it by a couple minutes. Can you please give me the discount? Okay, now I've gone through these. I'm gonna hit save discount. And then in this right hand side, it'll give you a summary. And I see here it says expired. I accidentally didn't get rid of that set end date. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna save it again. 
Now it is active. So type in method. So amount of products, your customers will need to use a code. Now this is for an online store. If you had a physical store, you could have it added to that sales channel. You'd have to come down and manage and select it in this menu. And then 25% off apparel, no minimum purchase required. All customers can use it, no usage limit. Can't be combined with other discounts and active from today. So I'm gonna show you this one used at checkout. So I already have a test cart made and you'll see there's this one shirt in here. And right here, discount code or gift card is where I'm gonna enter this discount code. And I apply it and it shows it took off the $4.04, .04, which is 25% of the shirt cost. And since I selected that this one cannot be combined with other discounts, no other discounts could be stacked on top of this discount. Now that we've gone over a discount code coupon, I'm going to go over an automatic discount. One thing before I show the automatic discount, I want to show you that if you go in here and you go in this promote area, you can get a shareable link. And it says you can share this discount link with your customers via email or social media. This discount will be applied at checkout when customers customers use this link. So if you send this specific link, if a customer clicked this link to go to your website, then it would automatically apply that discount at checkout for your customers. They wouldn't have to re-enter it in. Okay, now that I went over that, I mean, I'm gonna show you the automatic discount. So create discount amount off products. We're gonna click automatic discount this time. This will just automatically apply. For this automatic discount, I'm gonna do a fixed amount off of the product. So that way we can go through that option. So I'm gonna put apparel, let's do $5 off each one. and then fixed amount. So I'm gonna do $5 off each one. So I'm gonna hit $5 for fixed amount. Specific collections, I want it on apparel again. You wanna pay close attention to this check mark. So only apply discount once per order. If not selected, $5 will be taken off each eligible item in your order. So in this example, I want the $5 to come off of each shirt. So I don't want it to only apply once per order. I want it to apply as many times as possible to the shirts. Now it will only take off $5 per shirt. It's not gonna keep stacking up and apply it you know, twice per shirt or something. Availability is saying this discount is automatically applied to all sales channels. If you have a point of sale, so this is, this would be your physical locations, is saying point of sales pro locations only can use this. I'm not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna focus on the online one. Okay, in the minimum purchase requirements section, so you will need to enter in something here. It has to be greater than zero. So I don't need someone to have made a specific purchase amount. I'm just gonna put one cent because really if they purchase anything, it's more than one cent. You could also, so if you wanted them to have to purchase a minimum quantity of items, you could put that here. So again, I'm just going to put they must at least purchase one set in the apparel. Here are combinations. You could choose to allow this to be combined with other discounts. For this video, I'm not going to worry about that. And then with this one, you can also do a start date and an end date. I'm going to hit save discount. Brief recap. So amount off products, this is automatic, so it automatically applies. $5 off apparel applies to each eligible item per order. The customer must at least purchase one cent worth and it can't combine with other discounts. So I'm going to go back in the cart and I'm actually going to add a couple more shirts. So I've added more shirts to my bag and if we go in here, these are actually already showing the discounted price. And in view cart, again, it's showing the discounted price. It doesn't show that coupon code yet. So it may be a little confusing to customers that it's not showing that coupon code. So if they look at this and think it will discount more, it will not discount more. But when I hit the proceed to checkout, it is showing that it's $5 off the original prices that I had on the listings. And because I selected that it can apply to each item in that collection is taking $5 off each one. Now, if I had said that it would only be used once per order, that only one of these would be $5 off. So down here, since I have three shirts, mine is doing $15 off the order. So besides being able to combine your discounts with other discounts, we've basically covered everything you need to know with the amount off products discounts in this video.